We've been waiting for a white Discovery 3 in an update series. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to talk to you about this beautiful Discovery. So as I said, it is a 2009 model. That means it's an update. You may ask um, what that means. Basically, it means that it's got colour-coded bumper bars and a number of other standard features. This is an SE. It's got Xenon lights. It's got the standard wheels, which I think look great. And the other good thing about these wheels is they're not too big. You've got a nice big tyre here, which soaks up all the bumps and is very good off-road. As much as people like these 20-inch wheels and 22-inch wheels, they look great, but uh, they don't drive very well and it puts unnecessary stress on your suspension system. In fact, if, uh, if you buy a car like this brand new and you put 20 or 22-inch wheels, I think it voids your warranty on the suspension. So it's white in colour with cream leather interior. It's got two remote keys to it and a very good service history. A few little extras, the update, um, they actually painted this grey, it's just a much better looking car. All the Discovery SEs have the adjustable suspension and high range and low range. And you've also got your terrain response here. But it really is a very impressive colour combination. And with the colour coded bumper bars in this colour, it just looks fantastic. We've sold a lot of silver Discoveries with black interior. So for me personally, I was pretty happy when this came along. It's got a very nice set of Pirelli Scorpion tyres. It's a seven seater. And I think it's very well priced for an update. Three litre, sorry, 2.7 litre turbo diesel V6. It's got the tow pack. This car does not look like it's been off-road. It's got parking sensors, tinted windows, a very good service history as you would have seen in the photos. The very back seat does not look like it's been sat in. The turbo diesel engine in this car has plenty of power yet a very good fuel consumption and is far more desirable than the petrol variants. The tow bar barely looks like it's been used. It's nice and clean underneath. It certainly doesn't look like a car, as I said, that's been used off-road. I think it's just been driven around the city. And the reason why I mentioned it a couple of times is because a lot of discoveries are taken off-road. I know people who bought brand new discoveries and taken it off-road in the first week of ownership because these are very capable. With your adjustable suspension, I think it's got a centre diff lock as well. Hill descent control, terrain response. So the good thing about this car is you've got good fuel consumption, it's safe, reliable, economical and totally capable off-road, which is why it keeps winning four-wheel drive of the year. The Xenon lights looks fantastic. We'll have a look in the engine bay, I'll open that up because that's also nice and clean. It's got long registration in New South Wales. And it's just an all round very impressive car. It's been serviced at Land Rover most of its life and a specialist for the past few services. So if you look at the engine, it's nice and clean. See here, it's all nice and white. Often you'd get dirt, sand, etc. if it has been used off-road. But I can't see any signs whatsoever. The suspension works perfectly. We pretty rarely see issues with the sus suspension on these. Generally, if there is an issue, it'll just need a, a suspension compressor, which is between $1,000 and $1,500. It's not the end of the world. So I'll start it up. 
the suspension is on low, we might put it on high. One, two. The car will not go up with the door open for safety reasons. In case there's a ledge or something like that, you wouldn't want it to get caught. Now, now the door's closed, and up it goes. So it's nice and quick, which would suggest to me it's possibly had a compressor. It's already on its highest setting. And this is why they're just such capable off-roaders. I'll put it down on the normal setting. Click. Again, the car will not go down with the door open. There it goes. Very impressive. If you're looking at these Land Rover Discovery 3s, I would suggest actually having a look at a few of them. Even if you want to have a look at a number of them before you see this one, because this one does have a lot going for it, being an update in white, good history, keys, tow bar, etc., and a roof rack. So thank you again for watching our video and taking the opportunity. We are located in Marrickville. We sell a number of Discovery 3s, but we are very fussy as I'm sure you are as well. Thanks again for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you.